everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I am making just a simple blackberry sauce to can up to put into the pantry and the food storage and we use this to go on top of ice cream or any kind of dessert. Uh, it's really good. It's great on pancakes. You can thicken it up when you open it and make um, like turnovers with it like a pie filling but I don't thicken it first because it makes it more versatile this way so I just I have four cups and four cups so eight cups of blackberries I'm gonna start with and we're just gonna put them right into the pot And these were frozen from last year. They made it to the bottom of the freezer and I forgot about them and it is almost time to start picking again. So I thought we better take care of these. So this is just a really small batch, but it works for us. This is the amount of berries we have, so this is what we're going with. So we are just starting off with our jars in the canner so we can sterilize them. And the water is right up over the top. And we're just going to bring those up to a boil and let them boil for 10 minutes. So we just have all our blackberries in the pot and we're going to turn this up and on about a medium high heat. We want to bring this up to a boil and while we're starting this, I am going to mash these berries a little bit to get some of the juices flowing here. And we're just going to mash these. We don't want to break them up too much, but a little bit's okay. I like it kind of chunky, and especially on top of ice cream or pancakes, whatever you're going to use it for. Mmm. Even if you use it, if you thicken it and use it like a pie filling, then. It is wonderful to have those little chunks in there too. So we're just going to get this going and bring it up to a boil. Okay, so once we have this to a good rolling boil, we want to add, I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar to this. And we're going to mix that right in. So this is going to be really sweet. And we want to continue to cook this. So we're going to continue to simmer this for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, um, until you can see it start thickening a little because it's pretty thin right now. And we just want to simmer this down a little bit. And while it's simmering, I'm going to add just a little shake of allspice. I like a little allspice in there. Not too much, just a tiny bit. And a little sprinkle of some nutmeg, just to give it some good little flavor. And we are just going to get that all stirred in. And we're going to continue cooking this. Okay, so our blackberries are boiled down to a nice uh, sauce, syrup, I guess, consistency. That's where I want it. And um, so I'm going to add three tablespoons of lemon juice in here. I like to put it in right at the very end. And we're just going to mix that right in. And we are ready to jar this up. So I'm going to grab a few jars out of the canner. So I keep my jars in the canner until we're ready to fill them up. That way everything is super duper hot. Um, whenever I water bath can, I always make sure everything is super duper hot and sterilized and clean. So we're going to add our funnel here. 
let's just push this pot over and get nice and close because this is messy and sticky. So we are going to put our berries right in the jar. And I'm going to leave about one inch head space because this does bubble up a little bit in there. So, and you can see, you turn it this way. You got measurements. I love this funnel because it has measurements and it's right on the funnel. But this is perfect for making, you could make pie filling with this. I put it in small jars because um, even if we use it for turnovers, you really don't need that much. Only a couple tablespoons each. All right. And we're just going to set our funnel over here. We're going to debubble our debubbler or a wooden skewer or a chopstick works great for this. You just want to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Get as many of those bubbles out as you can. All right, and then I'm going to use just some white vinegar on a paper towel. That's what I like to use, just plain old white vinegar. Distilled what you put, oh, what you pickle with. Works perfect. Clean the house, whatever. Um, and this just makes sure there's nothing on that rim. So you're going to get a nice, good seal. You want to make sure these seal up really good. All that hard work, you don't want to lose them to a bad seal. So wiping your rims is super important. And then a nice warm lid. And a ring. And just finger tight. You don't want to over tighten these because it can mess up the lid. You want to make sure those that air can escape and it can seal. So just finger tight. And then these are off to the canner and I'm going to continue to fill jars. Okay, so we've got all five of our half pints in here and in our canner and they're covered over with one inch headspace, uh, one inch of water. So we're going to let these boil for, once they come up to a boil, we're going to process them for 20 minutes. And there you have it. Five jars of blackberry sauce. All ready to hit the pantry tomorrow. We'll just remove the rings, clean them up, label them, and get them off into the pantry. Yum! Total deliciousness. My favorite is to drizzle it over chocolate ice cream. Mmm! Mmm! If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!